good afternoon my students welcome now prove that the mathematical inductions some formula is there sin alpha will start with the sin alpha plus sin alpha plus pi by 6 plus sin alpha 2 pi by 6 plus sin of alpha plus n minus 1 times of n divided by 6 that is equal to sin alpha plus n minus 1 pi by 12 dot sin of n pi by 12 so whole divided by sin pi by 12 is there so in this condition there are the three steps for the mathematical induction the step one put n is equal to one so let the solution will take p of n is equal to sin alpha sin alpha plus pi by 6 then sin alpha plus 2 pi by 6 plus sin alpha n minus 1 n divided by, divided by 6 so these are the equations in these equations first we will take the lhs that equality is there First, we will take the LHS sin alpha plus n minus 1 into n divided by 6 will take. Put n is equal to 1, we are substitute. Now, in this condition, 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, 0 this time is 0. So, only the sin alpha is there in the LHS side. Put equation number 1. Then, we will take the RHS side. RHS side sin alpha plus n minus 1 divided by 12 pi sin n pi by 12 whole divided by sin pi by 12 is there. So, in this condition, LHS, what about the sin alpha is there. The same time, RHS will take, again put n is equal to 1, that sin alpha plus n minus n, 1 minus 1 is there, by into pi by 12, sin pi by 12 is there, whole divided by sin pi by 12. So, now in this condition, here 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, now the entire term will be 0. Now, what about the sin alpha is there. So, now right hand side is sin alpha, put equation number 2. So, now LHS equal to RHS, hence proved the first step over. The second step, hence, uh, second step is there, put n is equal to k. So, take LHS first and RHS is second. So, P of n is equal to sin alpha plus n minus 1 into pi by 6, that is equal to sin alpha plus n minus 1 into pi to by 12. Then, sin of n pi by 12 whole divided by sin pi by 12 is there. So, in this condition, put n is equal to k in this condition, step 2. Hence, P of 1 is true, whether LHS is equal to RHS proved, then go the step 2, n is equal to k, sin alpha plus k minus 1 divided by 6 into k, sin alpha plus, instead of n can be replaced by k, k minus 1 divided by 12, sin k by by 12 into sin pi by 12 is there. So, in this condition, only, hence P of 1 is k true, means P of k also true. Then go the step 3, put n is equal to k plus 1. Now, in this condition, what about the first solution in the case? RHS side will take first initially, then put second is part is as LHS side, LHS, then adding those part, the RHS side put n is equal to k, we are substitute, the LHS side is there, that will take plus addition, n is equal to k plus 1 only. So, in this case, we are the sin A, sin B is the formula, and again the sin A, sin B is the formula is there. So, we know the sin A, sin B formula, 1 by 2 cos of A minus B minus cos of A plus B is there. We are simplifying the A values, what about that, alpha times of the k minus 1 into k. So, B value is a k minus 1 to by 12 is there. So, we are substitute and simplify that formula, we get an answer for, simplify the expression, the step 3. Hence, P of k plus 1 is true, hence also P of k is also true, hence verify the conditions, that's all. Thank you.